first time since the massacre at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School, some of the victim's family members were just allowed to see where their loved ones were murdered in the mass shooting more than five years ago. For the parents we heard from today, it was something they felt they had to do. Angela Rozier is here with more on this very emotional day, Angela. That's right, Todd. As a matter of fact, family members from four of the 17 victims killed that day. Well, they showed up for that visit at the site. Now, the mother of one of the victims, she says they were allowed to take away some of the items in the rooms. She says she took her son's laptop and his last lessons plan. Five years after the massacre at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School, the parents of Gina Montalto walked into the 1200 building for the first time since the shooting. Their daughter was one of 17 people killed there on Valentine's Day. Entering the building where my daughter was shot was among the top five hardest things I've ever had to do. The building, surrounded by a fence, has been preserved as a crime scene. Linda Beagle Schulman says it was very important for her to go inside. Her son Scott Beagle was shot while trying to get as many students as possible inside his classroom. I needed to be where my son was when he took his last breath and where he really became a hero. School athletic director Chris Hickson also died a hero. He was the first person who tried to stop the shooter. His wife is hoping for closure. Taking down the building is another door to walk through in the process of grieving. So all of those things move you on a path to trying to find a place where you can settle and, and finally grieve the way that you're supposed to. These photos were taken during a jury view of the 1200 building in the shooter's sentencing trial. Now that the gunman's trial, as well as a trial of former school resource officer Scott Peterson are over, the victim's family members and survivors of the shooting will get a chance, if they wish, to see the site for themselves before it's demolished. When it comes down, though, the important part is that we have a fitting memorial. And officials have concluded all visits today. They say there will be more visits on Thursday, Friday, as well as next week. Shane.